Hey everybody, it's Dive Girl Dab. Look at this beautiful stove. You know, I don't even know how it's going to run, but it, it just looks so pretty. I got it all cleaned up, rubbed down. So basically, you know, they got this little wobbly handle here. And if you have this on the wall and your boat's swinging around, basically this thing is staying level the whole time your boat is twisting. <laughs> and, yeah. Got your coffee or your stew on there, giving it a little stir, go back out and operate the boat. So, got this scrubbed up pretty nice. Now I did order, I can't remember what they call this little device from this little nut right here up. Um, Cause there's a, a venturi in there inside so anyway i ordered two of these so i'll have one new to use and then one as a backup um, i have not and then there should be a gasket that goes under here i am gonna try apparently can't get the leather goes in here i've got some elk skin i might make up my own um, and um, to get to get this guy going i did order one of these plungers that works on a Coleman stove and we'll see if that'll work I'd rather go with that if I can so it's just a simple little machine at the end of the day and then this is how you control your fuel going in and out so I have not like sealed this up it's got fingerprints on it and that but she cleaned up beautifully now I paid $50 for this baby, right? And I've seen these on eBay for sale right now. Non-working condition, $250 to $400. So all you naysayers on this, maybe you don't want it on your boat, but I think it's kind of a neat little old item. And, you know, maybe some people do want it on their boat. You could always take this on shore or on the top of the deck and um, you can mount this outside for example on the deck would be great a lot of people barbecue on their boats this could be mounted outside and then you just unscrew this little retainer bolt right here and take the whole stove inside when you're not using it and stow it away so I think it's gorgeous it's a great conversation piece um, I'm gonna um, probably screwed onto that post right there once I get it up and working and um, you know see see how it works from there so to, I was watching a video on how to light these and you pour some kerosene in here um, and you light it and that's a preheating that heats the inside of this chamber and then you crack open the valve and the flame pops up and it roars to life I can't wait to try some food cooked on it. <laughs> so listen, either it's going to work or I'm going to sell it and make some money. Okay? If you haven't seen the movie Buck, great horse trainer guy, I'm a lot like Buck. And his favorite phrase is, what's the downside to that? <laughs> There's no downside here. This is a really beautiful stove. And uh, it's all cleaned up beautifully. All the corrosion is gone. It's beautiful. Um, I haven't even begun to buff and polish anything. This is just acid, acid wash and a scrub and some sanding. Um, I do have some bluing agent that's used on guns. Um, I have some that's aluminum um, that I bought actually by accident. So, this would look kind of neat blued with the nice bronze, because I kind of like blue on the boat. So, I don't know. Maybe instead of a powder coat, I end up with a, uh, a nice bluing, a gun blue to the aluminum. I think it would look kind of cool, actually. Yeah. So, right now... This project is done because I'm waiting for parts, number one. 
Um, I do have another one of these little deals still soaking in there. But, um, yeah, this is all cleaned up now. I feel good about it. I understand how it works. I got some parts on order for it. And now I'm going to set it aside and go on to one of the next. And I did release a video on our port -a boat but I want everybody to realize that this is a origami boat. So it folds up. So this is the boat here, all folded up. And when it's stowed on the deck of the boat, the sailboat, it will be stowed flat just like this. And um, you see here, it's just, it's not very big at all. It only takes up, you know, it's about eight inches maybe, six inches. So it's kind of a really cool little concept at the end of the day. I could throw that in the truck and go boating, which will probably happen. That's kind of exciting. So yeah, origami port -a boat I just want to show you guys really quick how to take care of honeybees and how to help them. So just a nice fresh bucket of water with a natural piece of wood floating on the surface gives them a nice water source. Um, if you can add salt to that, even better. They like salt. Pretty hot for the bees. I did come out and uh, check on them. They've all got plenty of fluids to drink. These are my um, potato bed here and so I just come out and wash this down and they'll come crawl in the leaves and lick water out. And of course they've got nectar galore and the lavender is blooming. And of course the borages are blooming. One of my absolutely favorite honeybee flowers. If you're going to plant one flower, it should be borage. And this is a little planter or waterer that I made for the bees. Uh, it's just a planter rim. I've got a board. It's actually a branch with a board set on top. And you can just put some little floaty sticks of wood in there or some leaves. And the bees will crawl down that and be able to get out if they fall in. And then when I come out and water, take that and dump it out and give them some fresh. Yeah, and this is my little uh, bumblebee nest, which still is uh, producing bumblebees. This is a uh, bee that died, called a walker. And she just walked out of the nest, and uh, they replaced her. All right, enough of that honeybee business and gardening business. Let's get back to our Primus, number 100. I don't know, this just is such a pretty stove. It's um, definitely, somebody built this with love and put it together. So, love it or hate it, C-Swing I think is gonna be a big hit at the end of the day. So, we'll see. If not, I'll turn around and sell it. Yep, make some money. You know, the thing is, I have maybe $75 all invested in it. I could turn around and sell it for $275. That's $200 bucks in less than a day. It's a pretty good return if I decide to go that route. And then who knows, maybe I'll actually fix my rake. <laughs> okay, guys. So, yeah. That's a pretty cute little uh, C-Swing uh, stove. So... Should cook some nice meals for us down the road. Alright everybody, love you guys. Bye-bye.